Dover has been bombed and Dover has been shelled. Here are a few scenes that indicate the results of the shelling. Damage to property, yes, but casualties comparatively small, many miraculous escapes having occurred. The people of this frontline town are gallantly helping to win the war by their steadfast courage. And the same can be said of Ramsgate, where Hitler's bombers recently delivered a murderous attack, raining high explosive and incendiaries on this small seaside resort, which cannot possibly be called a military objective. According to Goebbels, the people's morale is broken. Well, just look at them. Once again, the Anderson shelters have proved their worth. Everywhere, evidence of that accumulates. It's business as usual at Ramsgate in spite of the rain. A Nazi formation of bombers going home in a hurry is attacked by a single hurricane. There's a brief but violent battle and one German plane explodes in mid-air. But our pilot, a New Zealander, has to bail out his machine having been put out of action by other Nazi planes. Further across the channel, a Nazi seaplane vainly searches for the German shot down. And our own speedboats go to the rescue of the Hurricanes pilot. He's brought back safely. And if I know anything about our fighter pilots, he was probably in the air again next day. They're invincible. Later, we rescued a Nazi airman who will not be flying again for some time. That's the difference, and he seems to know it. <laughs> 